Hi, today we are going to attempt three questions. These are the first two questions. Let me start off with question number one. What is the remainder of 8 to the power of 23 divided by 7? Now this, some may look very shocking, but actually it is very simple if you use binomial theorem to solve it. Now 8 can be expressed as 7 plus 1. So you have 8 to the power of 23, so 7 plus 1 to the power of 23 divided by 7. Now, but if you do a binomial expansion of 7 plus 1 to the power of 23, what will you get? You will get 23 C0, 7 to the power of 23, then you have uh, I, leave, I leave out the 1 because 1 to the power anything is 1, alright? So, 23, 1, 7 to the power of 22, plus 23, 2, 7 to the power of 21, plus, and then you have 23, 22, 7 to the power of 1, and then you have the last one is 1 to the power of 23. So 1 to the power of 23 is still 1. So you look at these terms here. Now all this is divisible by 7. Why? Because there is a 7 attached to every term here. All right? 7 is multiplied to every term here. So all these terms... Each and every of these terms is divisible by 7. So the, the whole expression here is also divisible by 7. Now, so you have a remainder 1. All right? So your answer is 1. The remainder will be 1. Remainder 1. Reason is because this whole expression here is divisible by 7. Now the next sum you are asked to show that 13 to the power 100 is divisible by 12. Now 13 can be written as 12 plus 1. So you have 12 plus 1 to the power of 100. Now, now 12 plus 1 to the power of 100, if you use a binomial expansion, what will you get? You will get 100, 0, 12 to the power of 100. Now I leave out the 1 again, plus 100, 1, 12 to the power of 99, plus 100, 1, 12 to the power of 98, so on and so forth. And then you have 100, 99, 12, and then the last term is 1. Now all this is divisible by 12. Alright, all this is divisible by 12. Reason being, 12 is multiplied to every term here. So, all, each and every one of these is divisible by 12. So, the sum of all this is also divisible by 12. Okay? Now, therefore, 12 plus 1 to the power of 100. Now, since this thing is divisible by 12, can be written as 12a plus 1. Okay? 13 to the power of 100 minus 1 is equals to 12a plus 1 minus 1. Alright? So it's equals to 12a. Alright? Hence, it is divisible
by 12. Since it is a multiple of 12. Okay? Now let's move on to question number 3. In question 3, you are given this complicated expression and this expression is equal to ax to the power of 7 plus bx plus cx to c over x to the power of 5. You are asked to find the values of a, b and c. Now we can just expand this expression on the left of this. So let me write this down first x squared plus 1 over x to the power of 5. Now let's start off with the ncr term. So 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, 5c3, 5c4, and the last one will be 5C5. Okay. Now next, let's do the x square term. x square to the power of 5. x square to the power of 4. x square to the power of 3. x square to the power of 2, x square to the power of 1, and x square to the power of 0. Now next, we will do the 1 over x term. 1 over x to the power of 0, 1 over x to the power of 1, 1 over x square, 1 over x cubed, 1 over x to the power of 4, and 1 over x to the power of 5. Next, let us expand x squared minus 1 over x to the power of 5. x squared minus 1 over x to the power of 5. It's equals to now let us do the NCR term first. So N is 5, so 5C0, 5C1, 5C2, 5C3, 5C4, and 5C5. Next. We will do the x squared term. So this will be x squared to the power of 5, x squared to the power of 4, x squared to the power of 3, x squared to the power of 2, x squared to the power of 1, and x squared to the power of 0. Now let us do the minus 1 over x term. So minus 1 over x to the power of 0, minus 1 over x to the power of 1, minus 1 over x to the power of 2, minus 1 over x to the power of 3, minus 1 over x to the power of 4, minus 1 over x to the power of 5. Now, you realize that the first term is positive, second term is negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Now, you are supposed to use this to minus this. You find that these two are like terms, and then these two are like terms, these two are like terms, these two are like terms, all right? 
and you minus it since these two is the same all right so these two these two term will be gone then this term and this term because it's they are the same but the polarity is different one is a positive and one is a negative so you minus them you will, you will get twice of this all right then this one you will be gone as well uh, likewise this one will be gone so these two these three of them you will get two terms of each of these terms so if you add them together or if you subtract them i mean what will you be getting you will get twice of this 2 5 c1 now this one you multiply out you'll be x to the power 8 over 1 over x plus 2 times of this 5c3 then you have x to the power 4 over x cubed plus 5c5 is 1 then you times 2 you get 2 on top there's a 1 then this x to the power of 5 all right now simplify this what will you be getting this one you will get 10 x to the power of 7 5 this is 20 all right 20 x plus 2 over x to the power of 5 so if you do a direct comparison you get a is equals to 10 b is equals to 20 and c is equals to now that you are more familiar with the formula of binomial theorem in the next video i'll be teaching you the general term formula now i will use the general term formula to solve question one and two and i will also be showing you how to solve question three i will i will be putting the url link in the description below for those who are interested you can click on it Thank you for watching and have a nice day.